Hello everyone. Welcome to the session. Uh, today we will learn about how to use index and multi-level index in pandas. So let's import our package as we have already imported. Import pandas spd and let's uh, import our data set. Uh, today we will be working on our uh, stock data set. So let's quickly load it. And let's have a look at the data set. So as you can see, we have a data set with four columns. And let's see the shape of our data set. Dot shape. So it has nine rows with four columns. Now, uh, as you can see uh, that it is in a default index mode which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, till 8. Now, what if we want to change the index of this data set? Let's say that we want uh, our index to be date. So let's convert it. Stocks dot set index. And let's pass the name of the column, which we need it as our index so as you can see our index has been changed and we have index as date similarly if you want to make index for symbol the name of the companies let's say stock dot set index we want our symbol the name of the companies to be the index so the name of the companies are the index now uh, one more thing you can do if you want multiple indexes this is also a good option so let's say stocks dot set index and i want our indexes our index to be the name of the company that is the symbol and its corresponding date So here we have our multi indexes. We have symbol as well as our date as index. Uh, so let's save it. Let's say let's put in place parameters so that it gets saved permanently. In place equal to true. Now as you can see that we have uh, two indexes symbol and date but there is still some confusion uh, something needs to be sorted uh, these are not sorted values as you can see that if you have to see for apple you have to find it okay here is it here it is so let's sort our values so stock dot sort index which in place equal to true and let's see now as you can see this is a much clearer picture now we have our outer level index as the name of the companies and the inner level index is as the dates. Now uh, let's retrieve some of our data. Uh, now for example if you want to retrieve the details for Apple uh, you simply have to type this command stocks.log it is loc and you pass the name of the company. So you get this whole block as you can see of apple company now this lock function what it does is it uh, it retrieves the information that it retrieves the rows and columns of the uh, desired or of the corresponding uh, index like in this case it's for the apple now 
what all you can do with these you can do some data analysis like if you want to retrieve the mean for the apple uh, company uh, for the column of close that is at what points did, it, did the stock market was closed and you want the mean for all the dates so simply you can say stock dot log name of the company dot you want the close column and its mean so it simply gives you the mean for all the dates that is 112.856 and there is another way you can also say stocks dot log The name of the company and you want say for you for example you want for the date of 3rd October so you pass this date 0 3 10 2 and while you do so keep in mind if you have multiple entries for the rows so you must pass this information in a tuple that is round parenthesis and put a colon so what i've done is this uh, that i have uh, entered the row which i want and then i want all the columns the colon stands for all the columns after the column of close so as you can see that it is providing me the details of apple that is close stock is 112.52 uh, with volume of this and it this uh, information is for the date of 3rd october now let's take a look at another example say for example you want the details not for only one date you want exam uh, information for two dates so let's retrieve the information by log method and uh, you need to pass it through a tuple that is round parenthesis parenthesis now uh, you need two dates so you have to pass them together otherwise pandas will get confused so you can pass them together in a list say the date for 3rd october and the date for 4th october and let's say that you only want the, uh, the column of close time so let's see yes the result is displayed now we have the information for apple company and the dates which we specified 3rd october 4th october with closing values of 112.52 and 113 respectively so there are many ways to retrieve like this and uh, you should practice many of them so that is it for the session guys uh, hope you liked it and if you have any queries, please comment. I'll be happy to help. And please like and subscribe the channel. Thank you, Thank you so much.